Financial data provider FactSet looking to incorporate AI into its products to level up investors. The company demoed its latest uh, offerings at an event in Miami late last month. For more, FactSet CEO Phil Snow is here on set. Phil, great to have you with us. Thanks, Melissa. Good to see you. Um, just, you know, being a FactSet user, full disclosure, you know, some of the AI features come up in terms of summarizing conference calls and yeah. highlighting important, you know, areas, and that's really amazing uh, and time-saving, you actually did a survey to quantify how much time people are saving. Absolutely. And so 55% of your respondents in this survey of like 550 people save five hours? This was just junior bankers, so that's uh -huh. one of the workflows we serve. But yeah, we all know what the life of a junior banker is <laughs> coming out of school, right? Five hours might mean a lot to that person. So that's just the beginning. We think we can continue to you know, make, make people's lives hyper-efficient in financial services. How are customers looking at this in terms of how much they pay versus how much time they're saving? I think we're still in the beginning stages of that. Mm -hmm. So I think most CEOs recognize there's an opportunity to really make way more efficient some roles. Um, and in other cases, they're going to want to continue to add value uh, with, with that individual. Um, we did think there's a great opportunity to monetize that. I think we're at the beginning stages of figuring out how we're going to charge for it. Right. And you know, under your leadership, I mean, the growth has been as consistent as a company out there without question. Yep. This actually now next layer stuff. And you guys were early without question. You invested correctly. But in terms of what it does to the bottom line, AI, is we going to see sort of that hockey stick over? Maybe not next quarter, but in the next few quarters. We do think it's going to be a driver of growth, guys. So we think we're perfectly positioned to be the market leader here within our within our segment. Um, but great example that we launched at uh, the, the conference you both joined us at, thanks Dan too, was um, you know, something called portfolio commentary. So if you're a portfolio manager, the bane of your existence might be writing you know, those monthly summaries of your outer underperformance. I never really loved English class myself. I was more <laughs> of a chemistry numbers guy. But that might take an hour for somebody to write. We've got it down to 30 seconds to, to a minute, essentially. So imagine the productivity gain there and the, the ability for a portfolio manager to essentially spend more time you know, looking at other, uh, other investments or maybe having dinner with their family a few nights a week, which they can't do. <laughs> well, Phil, you know, we spent a lot of time talking about use cases for generative AI. Again, I'm also a user of, of FactSet, and I'm already seeing those efficiencies that you're talking about. But another thing that we spent a lot of talking about is in different areas, hallucinations and the like. So right. you guys spent a lot of time talking about the data yeah. and how solid it is yeah. and the output that you're getting. Speak to that a little bit, because that would be one hesitation that if, I, if this is mission critical sort of information to help you invest, yeah. um, you want to make sure that data is accurate. Absolutely. So, one, you know, the, the heart of facts is the data on our system. So for 45 years, we've been uh, integrating third-party data, collecting our own data, and clients have been trusting us with their data. We now have almost 16 million portfolios on the system representing, you know, tens of trillions of assets. So that's at our core. That's what we do as a company. And we stitch that, get that data together in a way that makes it easy to analyze. We've also invested heavily in our technology stack for the last five years. So we've become, you know, um, we've become, become hybrid cloud, we've become API first. So that foundation is there. And we spent a lot of time at the beginning of this making sure that we had a secure environment uh, to point LLMs at essentially, because everyone in heavily regulated industries like financial services, healthcare, energy, it's going to be paramount. Uh, so all of the um, instances we have for clients are secure, they're private, we don't, you know, train on their questions and so on. So we're, we're being very cautious at the beginning, which I think is the right approach. How about new segments? Because, you know, I think about the self-directed investor and obviously sophisticated institutions, bankers, people that they rely on facts. Yeah. But how about, you know, being able to supplant a McKinsey or a consulting firm? AI giving companies themselves the ability to really do the kind of work, save the time, the efficiencies, be much more pinpointed without having to hire you know, some very expensive consultants out That's there. That's a great idea. I'm going to take that one back. <laughs> I'll, so, I'll run that. You know, <laughs> no. We're in the corporate segment today. You know, we serve IR very well. We serve BizDev, but there are lots of strategy functions yeah. and so on. Uh, even the C-suite. I'm very excited about FactSet now pushing more into the C-suite of our clients, yeah. and providing, you know, senior wealth managers, PMs, senior bankers, um, the C-suite of corporations, the ability to roll their own yeah. essentials. Really yeah. quick, Phil. Yeah. <laughs> um, when you think about AI and, and what it offers customers, do you think of it as something that you charge extra for or a reason why you keep that customer? Absolutely. So we, we will charge extra for uh -huh. portfolio commentary, which I just spoke about. We'll be able to batch that for clients. We'll charge 
you know, per report for that, essentially. There are some elements that you're already enjoying, right, the transcript mm -hmm. assistant, that will help with retention and just getting new seats. Right. So it's going to be a combination of both.